Hey, today we're doing a comparison between Canon C200 and the Canon C70. This would be a bad video comparison, not on purpose. Let me explain. When I test a camera or compare it for the sake, my brain only focuses on things I use. This is my way of justifying the lack of detail on this comparison. But I'll do my best to try and share with you the things that I find relevant on these cameras. So, for a little bit of contest, I do own the Canon C200 and I rented out the Canon C70 for a day a couple of weeks ago. While testing out the C70, I thought it would be an interesting idea to put them side by side. And here's what I got from it. The Canon C70 is a better camera. It has great specs and a much wider variety of settings that honestly I wish the Canon C200 had it. But there is one key thing on the Canon C200, which still makes it worth it for me, more than the Canon C70, which you may guess, raw capabilities. I mentioned this before in a video I made about the C200. The reason why I chose this camera is to be able to do my freelancing to the highest level, but mainly to be able to shoot my films and larger projects in raw files. But let's talk more about these cameras. The Canon C70 with 4K 10-bit is dream. Amazing slow motion. The camera feels right in the hand. Colors are out of this world. There is only a few minor things to keep this from being a perfect camera for me. But where I think this camera really shines is on the run and gun filmmaking. The person who shoots a lot of online content and wants to make their content stand out, this camera is incredible. The Canon C200 on the other hand has those ergonomics and capabilities that if you're working on a bigger project where you want the best possible image, this camera will provide that. Now this is a quick footage comparison between the Canon C200 and the Canon C70. Think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. No. You blame things that you do. But when you put these cameras side by side, there is no question. The Canon C70 for being a newer camera has a better variety of settings that just works out amazingly. When comparing MP4 files, the C200 is limited to 8-bit. And if you try and use 120 slow-mo, it takes it down to 180, which is quite unfortunate. These are problems that the C70 don't have. But at the end, my weird conclusion after this comparison is that I'm curious about the Canon C300 Mark II. It's a camera that has both components that I like in these two cameras and may end up being what I ultimately need from a camera. But at that price point, we have other issues. But as we all know, there's no such thing as a perfect camera. 